Now let's learn about a tangent plane. What is a tangent plane? Tangent plane is essentially a plane which intersects the sphere at a single point. Okay, so we have seen earlier that my plane could intersect the sphere and we would get a circle. Okay, so as I go towards the center of the sphere, my circle's radius keeps increasing until I get a great circle. Similarly, if I go towards the edge of the sphere, then my circle's radius decreases until I get a point where the radius of the circle is zero or in other words, you have a single point of intersection between your plane and a sphere. So over here I have a sphere and a plane and the point of intersection between this sphere and this plane is this guy. Okay. I want to find out the equation of this plane given the equation of the sphere which is this. Okay. Just understand one more thing. Your distance, perpendicular distance from the center to this particular plane is going to be the radius of the sphere. Okay. So, another way to look at a tangent plane is a plane whose perpendicular distance from the center of the sphere is equal to the radius of the sphere. Okay. So, let me just write it down for you. Perpendicular distance from center is equal to the radius. Okay. Let's just suppose that the point of intersection of the sphere and the plane is x1 y1 and z1. Okay. So, this is the point of intersection. Now, let's see how we are going to find out the equation of tangent plane. Let's just suppose that I have an arbitrary point on this plane. Okay. This point is x comma y comma z. Let's just say that this is c. Okay. Let's just say that this is O and this is this point is B. Okay. Then what is OB? OB is essentially the radius which is a normal vector to this plane. Okay. It is a normal vector to this plane. So OB is going to be perpendicular to BC. Okay. Since OB is going to be perpendicular to BC, if OB's direction ratios are A1, B1, C1 and BC's direction ratios are A2, B2, C2, then I am going to have A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 equal to zero. Okay. Now I know that if this is the equation of my sphere, then its center is at minus u minus v minus w. Okay. And if you know the two end points of a line, you essentially know the direction ratios. Okay. So direction ratios of OB is going to be what? It is going to be x minus minus u. Okay. So, it is going to be x plus u. Okay. Then it is going to be y minus minus v which is going to be y plus v. Okay. Uh, this is x1, y1, z1. So, essentially it is going to be x1 plus u and y1 plus v and z1 plus w. Okay this is minus. We know that the center is at minus u minus v